Abdul Rahman. Um, if you had to advise companies, particularly in KSA, uh, I, mean, I wouldn't say companies, organizations, so even could be government ministries, departments, private sector, SMEs, not just the big ones, but I would say everyone's affected. Uh, what would be the three or four things you would advise them that they should, they need to do if they uh, do intend learning from this whole experience and putting in place something robust and sustainable? Well, uh, first of all, uh, uh, they, they, uh, uh, my advice to them is to start, even with primitive things. Right. <laughs> I mean, don't wait until you have something fancy. Yeah. Because you never know uh, when you will be hit by any uh, kind of uh, incidents that right. could, could uh, in fact, uh, uh, put you in a situation where you will be maybe uh, unable to continue yeah. uh, as, as, as an organization. So start, 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 start. Mm -hmm. Don't wait. Start from day one. Start now. Start Put something. <laughs> yeah. Put something, even if it's a primitive, simple, basic, but at least you have something better than nothing. Right. That's my first advice. Second is, it's not, don't deal with it as a project. Mm -hmm. It's not a project. This is, this is a program that's continuation, continuous. Because I know for many, many, they were very enthusiastic on putting budget and bringing consultants and so on. And they dealt with it as a project has start and an end mm. after the project ends. <laughs> it becomes, as I said, it's a souvenir. You can, you can, when you have visitors, you can show them <laughs> uh, the, the nice thing. But it, it's not something that you will really going to benefit uh, in case you need it. Right. So that's an, an, another advice. The third is be patient. Don't expect quick uh, changes, especially mm. when, you, when you talk about changing, changing the culture. Mm. This is takes years. It's not easy. You have to continue your efforts and be patient and trying to uh, put always creative ways to to let them say, put it in their desk. Right. What, yeah. what, what I was always telling my, my staff that your success is that the staff put the business continuity on his desk <laughs> where he can see it. So he can remind it, right. get him reminded by every day. So yeah. we have done a lot of creative ways in, in, in the, in the awareness and, and doing it in different ways and let the people feel it, uh, practice it. So that's, that's my third advice, that share it with people. Hmm. Don't go to them as if it's something that you are cooking a meal and you are going to just delivering it for them to eat it. No, <laughs> let them feel that they are part of it because they are really, and, and if there is a real situation, they are the one, the whole organization have to act together. Right. The fourth advice is, is that continuous improvement. You have to believe in it. You have to implement it. You have to practice it mm -hmm. because you never <laughs> reach a situation where you say, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I am half. That's it. Yeah. For, no, no. <laughs> you will never, you will never, although how much, despite how much you are, you, you are mature, still there is a room for improvement.